Yo, what's up guys? It's Troy D. Welcome back to the channel. Troy D 24-7 Mall On Point Reviews all day, every day. We are back with something pretty special. And uh, this is, I think this was hyped at one point. I'm not sure if it's hyped right now. But uh, nevertheless, when I got the chance to gra uh, grab this one, I did. And we're going to go talk about it in my no-hype manner. This is none other than Stefan Humbert Lucas Mortal Skin. Stefan Humbert Lucas Mortal Skin. This is from, uh, I believe, the 777 collection. And this one is quite interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. But I'm going to talk about it in my own way. So you might have heard other reviews, and that's great. But it's time for the Troy D. Way. And don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe on this video. Welcome again to our new subscribers. Hello. Welcome. It's time to talk about this crazy fragrance. Let's go hit the music. Okay, we're back. Stefan Humbert Lucas Mortal Skin. Craziest bottle I've ever seen so far. Let's talk about that real quick. Look at this peeling skin. Uh, snake skin out of the cap. Gold bottle with the crazy snake right there. <laughs> crazy. This is an attention grabber. You know what I mean? Like, I think whether you have frag heads come by your house or the girlfriend or the whoever's, they're going to stop and look and they're going to be like, this ain't Fahrenheit. <laughs> this ain't Le Mail. <laughs> what is this? And I think they're going to grab this bottle and they're going to be very interested in the intricate detailing of the bottle. This is mortal skin, like I said. And um, this one is uh, being billed as uh, sort of outer worldly, uh, totally different, totally crazy but you know what's really great about fragrance is experience you know once you have tried many different fragrances some of these things come together and uh, you'll find out today if it's really that unique or that crazy all right so first and foremost guys let's talk about the notes of this that make it quite a nice fragrance to me it is nice number one is ink it's got ink and it's got blackberry okay I love blackberries one of my favorite fruits that i eat quite sweet but not overly sweet and for some reason this blackberry really mixes well with that ink okay that ink and blackberry are such perfect actors that it's almost just one note you know you could call it the sweet ink <laughs> right but the ink is definitely uh, you can smell it. It's pronounced. People say they can't smell the ink. Oh, I can definitely smell the ink. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, I've had other ink fragrances, one of which that's really pronounced is uh, Squid by Zoologist. And the ink there is so pronounced. This one is as well. But then, like I said, the Blackberry provides a very sweet, uh, nice touch to it. Okay. Now, in addition to this nice, insane ink blackberry combo is Opoponax, which is basically myrrh and incense. And this myrrh and incense provide the uh, fragrance with some slight smoke as well as uh, an almost medieval feel. So for those people that are saying that, you know, uh, mortal skin is a fragrance that's quite different. It's got this like... Uh, outworldly feel it doesn't smell like any other thing well you know when you smell myrrh and frankincense guys uh it will really you know it's not churchy but it just it transports you it's like like a totally different thing it's almost like the uh perfumer said you know what f y'all i'm just gonna make my own thing and i'm not gonna follow anybody okay so that's really kind of what you feel when you have this myrrh frankincense combo uh, and like i said here the incense is very likable not churchy you know i i'm a catholic so i know what incense smells like at church the smoke is even slight okay so uh, you know like i said this is very very nice quite different um and also i would say that the uh, cardamom here the cardamom here gives you this nutty and uh, sweet aroma okay and I would say that the cardamom is actually one of the most recognizable ones so for those that actually uh, don't have too much experience with uh, let's say uh, blackberry ink or frankincense or myrrh 
their nose or your nose will mostly also detect the cardamom and you're going to be like oh that's nice because it is something that you know you smell is very prevalent in some of the other perfumes that you have so the cardamom is definitely uh, one of the most recognizable familiar scents out here now also iris which is my favorite one of my favorites uh, the iris or oris root powder powder blast is uh, to me one of the best parts of this fragrance it is very luxurious feels very luxurious and this is the one that provides the uh, sillage uh, of this one okay the, the the iris powder boom hits hard outward uh, powdery luxurious I mean I really really like it okay now on the dry down guys we got some woody notes we got cedar sandalwood nice woody notes we got musk great base note as well and we got ambergris that salty ambergris that really adds to the final push of this thing wow i mean if you're an ambergris fan you're gonna like this as well okay now um there is some birch here i'm not sure if it's birch tar or birch wood but i believe that the birch here provides uh somewhat of a leathery or a leather tone to it uh, I'm I can't say it's like a strong leather it's sort of just there to provide the base if you know what I mean guys and like birch tar actually has a, that leather smell you know that that's being used in many perfumes and I I believe that is what is causing this uh, slightly leather uh, smell of mortal skin now mortal skin to me is a perfume that will create this enigmatic and mysterious feel this mysterious aura and i believe that it's not necessarily a compliment getter but it is rather a uh, attention getter all right and uh, because you know compliments are very easy to get in my opinion uh, there are enough uh, fragrances that are uh, you can say a mass appealing with very very recognizable scents that the majority of the population know love enjoy and then you get compliments uh, mortal skin is more for attention you know I'm thinking uh, you could be the snobbiest person in your group <laughs> okay or the, the, the person the, the dictator of the group or whatever and then mortal skin will continue that you know attention grabbing uh, aura that you have maybe I think that mortal skin grabs the attention because it's such a whoa what is that type feel and then at the same time it's just powerful powerful enigmatic and luxurious so i mean this is definitely uh the the, the choice of wear for any uh maybe leader of the group or uh you know mysterious person or if you want to feel mysterious you want to be the leader whatever i feel like mortal skin will do it for you guys uh don't don't get the compliments actually this is for the person that doesn't need compliments because they already know that they're in the bomb that they already are awesome and they don't need external validation from anybody that's basically mortal skin for you it just extends that attitude you know what i'm saying guys um and uh, let's talk about the uh uh performance of this one you know what in the beginning i thought that it was like okay this is sort of like my iris my other iris fragrances and i didn't feel like it projected like crazy in the beginning okay that's what i felt but then you know when i moved on to trying other perfumes i actually tried this one designer perfume okay that was supposedly had strong sillage and projection okay and i sprayed it i, I did a couple of sprays on my arm and I, yeah i smelled it but guess what guys within a few minutes mortal skin the snake ate it up it went you know the, the snake you know the snake literally ate it up and killed it okay for some reason the mortal skin overwhelmed that designer fragrance and it was gone 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 you know and I, i'm gonna review that on a different video but geez um the the mortal skin powdery aura effect just killed it so you know very interesting for me you know because it doesn't the performance of this doesn't fall in line with my other fragrances or what we usually review but then like i said just an interesting thing to take no a note of is when i sprayed a strong performing designer fragrance this dude this snake ate it up okay and then from there all i could smell was mortal skin longevity is there 
I believe this is more like an aura type of scent and uh, long lasting for sure because it keeps going and going and going. Now, let's talk about uh, collecting here, okay? Now, uh, I did talk to a friend of mine uh, just a few moments ago and uh, I was saying that, uh, you know, the problem with collecting when you just go from the same, like, I guess, likable known fragrances is that the chances of you getting bored is quite easy. You know, you get bored really, really quick because uh, usually certain houses have offerings that basically match another house. And by the time you get to the other house, you, you're, you're bored because once you smell it, you're like, oh, this is another amber nuit you know what i mean it's like it's another amber nuit or it's another this it's another that it gets boring really really quickly and of course if you're you know paying you know your money eventually you know you'll be like mad as well because you you use your money and then you get bored because it's the same fragrances um as a i would like to prescribe <laughs> i'm not a doctor maybe not doctor fragrance uh but i will prescribe guys that every now and then you gotta try the ones that really break the mold you know you gotta have one fragrance every now and then breaks the mold so you don't feel that redundancy and this is the reason why you know when i get the fragrances that almost everybody uses i get really excited because it's like oh it's been a while you know it's like i'm not trying out like different versions of the same fragrance um this one right here is an excellent break uh in the collection you know if you just always have the same stuff it's like let's do a break and let's do something totally cray cray uh mortal skin is that cray cray perfume okay totally breaks the mold breaks the habit of just buying the same stuff especially if you're like getting the same aventus like over and over uh the the, the clones the real ones the batches you can break that at least once and get mortal skin i think you guys are going to be quite intrigued by this fragrance some people call it a masterpiece um the uniqueness level of this is uh i would say an 8 out of 10 people will say 10 out of 10 but again this is because you know maybe you never owned any other iris or incense or myrrh or or inky fragrances but once you've tried a lot uh, like myself, I would say this is an 8 out of 10. And I do appreciate the longevity of this. And again, this this uh, snake, this snake bites. <laughs> this snake really takes over. I'm telling you guys, okay? You you guys think it's a slouch, but it's not, okay? Um, so that's it. That's my review of Stefan Humbert Lucas Mortal Skin. Great fragrance. This is a keeper. I mean, um, when would I wear this? That's a good question. I think that this is one of those where like you gotta spray it on your on your wrist and be like, what's the mood? What's the mood today? This is does this fall under that mood and then just do it. Okay. Like there's no season, there's no like spring, summer, you know, uh winter. Just sp spray it whenever you want, guys. Okay, whenever you feel like you want to be enigmatic, you want to be mysterious, maybe brooding, but attention grabbing, man, mortal skin guys, for sure, okay, so that's it, that's my review, thank you for uh, being here, thank you for subscribing and liking all these videos, thank you for appreciating the variety, I mean, that's really what I try to do, this is $290 for a 50 mil, quite expensive but you know what this is the point of the channel we have cheap stuff we've got expensive stuff we've got exotic stuff so thanks for being here guys we got something for everybody so just in case you decide to change up your collection or you change your taste we got something for you okay so until then guys this is troy d i'll talk to you guys soon take care peace god bless